Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taylor. Um, my doc is in the video today. She needs lots of attention apparently. Uh, today our video is going to be about my go-to fall look. And this is a simple look that takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to achieve in the morning. It involves a lot of mauve colors, burnt orange colors, not my dog. Um, Burnt, burnt, burnt orange colors and some really nice glittery shades. So I really hope you all enjoy this look guys. It is simple, pretty, and it's great for going out or just going to school and or work. So guys, if you want to see how I achieved this look, then let's just get right on into it. Alright guys, so off camera I went ahead and moisturized my face and I primed using the Smashbox that gel. Um, photo finish primer, I think that's what it's called. Um, so today I'm actually going to talk about a new foundation that I've been in love with that I've been using for the last three weeks. It is the Smashbox Studio Skin Primer and I'm in the shade 1.15 and I know this is a new shade to the range. It matches my skin tone pretty much perfectly. It's a really nice pale color and it has the um, it doesn't have pink undertones, which is nice because I don't have that much uh, pinkness to my skin. And if you hear some little pitter patteriness, it's my doggy walking back and forth because she wants me to give her attention. Um, okay, so anyways, this is a great foundation for people who have oily skin. I used to not straight away, straight away, I can't talk today, it's because I talk too fast. I used to not stray away from my um, NARS Sheer Glow just because it was perfect for my skin and it never really came off and I got really oily. Now with this, this lasts all day long. And I love that it has a little pump on it. It's really nice to have something with a pump instead of having to pour it out. So I usually just take two or three pumps like this. Ooh, it was out. And then I just put it on my face like so and I blend it out. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Superstay Better Skin Corrector in Light 20 by Maybelline. I really love this stuff. This is pretty much all I've been using, um, just because my under eye area gets very parched during the fall, and usually when I have to moisturize under my eyes, other correcting concealers come off throughout the day, like barely even brushing up against your eye like when you rub it. And with this, I find that it stays on a whole lot longer and it costs half the price of a big name concealer. So I just pop this under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, on my chin, and then I cover up any um, blemishes that I have on my face and then blend it out. So now I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to dip it into my Laura Mercier translucent powder, translucent powder and bake my under eye area. I also put this on top of any blemishes because I feel like it bakes into the skin and then when I brush it off, it gives off a more porcelain look. We're going to take the Maybelline Better Stay Powder, and I don't know what shade this is. Oh, classic ivory. And I'm just going to put the smallest bit, swirl it around on my brush, tap it off, and then just pat along my face. I don't. And bronzer. So for bronzer, of course, I'm going to be using my Holy Grail bronzer which is the Hula bronzer by Benefit and I'm just going to take this huge little kombuki bronzer brush and I'm not going to really contour per se I just kind of bronze up my cheeks and my forehead and then a little bit on my chin um, I I'm going to highlight and blush using the Becca, what are these called? Shimmering Skin Perfector Mineral Blush Champagne Splits. 
I love this. It's so pretty. Just look at that color. Like this blush is a, just such a great blush for like any time of year. I love it. It gives off a very natural look. And here comes another car by. How loud. Loud. Alright, so I'm just going to be taking my favorite little brush to blush with. This is my e.l.f. angled brush, blush brush. I love it. I also love this for contouring too because it's just a perfect little shape. So I'm just going to take my blush and I'm going to do the apples of my cheeks and I'm going to go back and blend it back farther too in with that bronzer that we just did. So it gives off a very mauve pink look. Now we are going to highlight with our little fan brush. I just got this from Sephora. It's my favorite thing to, oh, my nose is itchy. It's my favorite brush to highlight with. I also sometimes use this if I want a thicker highlight, but today I just want a little smooth one. We're just gonna take it and I'm gonna highlight my cheekbones and I go over them twice because I want a highlight that blinds people. Pretty much. Um, then I do the tips of my the, the tips of my nose, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and then I kind of go up a little bit on my forehead and underneath my brow bones. For the eyebrows, I am not a big brow person. I like to just put something on them real fast to make them look a little bit more luscious. I have pretty thick, dark eyebrows, so <laughs> so I don't really like to take the time to like fill them in and make them look bigger than they already are because they're pretty big already on their own. So I'm in love with any like brow tints. And I used to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills, what is this? Just the brow tint. As you can tell, this is like my third tube and it's almost gone already. But I was in the store at Sephora the other day and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try something new. So I'm trying the Benefit Gimme Brow and I'm in number five. Look at these colors. Like these colors transfer from the pan onto your eye beautifully. They're buttery, they're smooth. Well, that's the same adjective. They're buttery and smooth, and they are highly pigmented, and I love them. And can we just admire, I know you're about to see my um, camera, but can we just admire this huge mirror? Like, I see my whole face in it. I love it. So, we are going to first take, we're gonna do our inner corner, and we're gonna just take a blending eyeshadow brush, and I like to start off with Rebel, which is this color right here. And I'm going to pop that into my inner corner and blend it out with circular movements of the hand. Now that we have Rebel, I like to do something a little different with the next color that I'm going to put into my crease. I take Activist right here, which is this like dark color, and I just put it on. And I'm going to put it, place it right here, just in the middle of the crease and just kind of blend it right there and leave it there because I'm trying, I'm pretty much giving that color its little moment right there. I don't want to blend it out too much or too far, I just want to keep it in the middle and nice and just have its own unique little spot on my eyeball. So now I'm going to take Smarty Pants and I'm going to just put that all over the lid and then on top of that I'm going to put the color Funny Girl. Next I'm going to take this color Charmer with the Precise Eyeshadow Brush and I'm going to pop that on my brow bone. I'm going to take a smudge brush and then I'm going to go back to that first color Rebel and I'm going to mix it with a tad bit of that darker color and I'm going to smudge it underneath my waterline. Now for 
eyeliner, I'm going to take the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner in Trooper, and I'm going to do the thinnest layer, kind of, oh, kind of, I'm going to do it, <laughs> the thinnest layer around my eye, and then I'm going to do a really small flick, because I'm in to the small flicks instead of my usual, like, out to here cat eye. So we're just going to do something a little more, a bit more basic today. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and then put on some mascara. No false eyelashes today because when I'm trying to get ready real fast, I don't have time for fake eyelashes. So we're just going to go all natural. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline Last Sensational in Black, which is my favorite mascara. And it's super inexpensive and cheap. So we're just going to curl up our eyelashes and then apply two coats of mascara. So for lipstick, I'm going to be using the Bite Beauty, mm, what is this? The Matte Cream Lip Crayon in Cafe. It's a mauvey pink color, and it just looks really good on my skin tone, pale. Um, so I'm just gonna plop, plop, pop that on my lips, and then we will be finished with this look. Alright guys, so this is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed this chit chat. Get ready with me. I enjoy filming videos like this where I kind of get to talk you through the products and what I do and show you some more of my, there's something in my lens, more of my weirdness. So I really hope that you comment below with some suggestions of videos you'd like to see in the future. Oh my gosh. <laughs> with videos you'd like to see in the future and be sure to give this video a big thumbs up so that I know you will like this kind of content, y'all. Until next time, I hope you enjoy the beginning of your fall season and you have a great week. I love you so much. Bye.